Oh, welcome back. Uh, now, a little while ago, I gave the lathe a good, well-needed clean, um, and unfortunately, one of the knobs has sort of crumbled a bit. Um, so I'm going to make some new ones. Now, there's many ways to skin this particular cat, but on this occasion, I'm going to use the new CNC lathe just to uh, give it a run. Um, benefit being, I'm going to make them out of plastic, so it's a bit less scary. Uh, <laughs> um, so I'm going to make two. I'm going to make one for this lever down here where it's um, crumbled. This one's still good. This one, I've got a round knob on, which was just one that I had kicking around. Um, but I'm going to replace that with a matching, a matching knob so that it matches all the rest. So the current state of it is that it's um, very much how you last saw it. Um, this is now my new emergency stop button, which just kills the power to everything that's running on there, which is the basically the, the power supply for the stepper motors and the inverter. It's not an instant stop, but um, I need to wire in that, which is a little bit involved, so I haven't really had time to do that just yet, but this is better than nothing. So I've got some 20 millimeter bar in the lathe. Um, positioning the tool at zero, I can push the bar up to it and it's at a known point. I've spent a bit of time in Fusion working out how to do the various things. Um, I'm probably not going to do any drilling because I've got no easy way to set up drills on this to actually see it and see it. I've got to tap it and I can't tap on this, at least not, I don't know how to yet. Um, so we'll turn the part and then we'll move it over to the manual lathe to do the drilling and tapping and then we can fit them in position. Assuming nothing gets broken. Let's start off by facing the part. That's not too scary. So I have done some test cuts on this particular operation so I'm fairly confident this is going to work found a good feed and speed to get a nice surface finish. So let's just run it again and see what happens. Okay, that's just the starting position telling me to turn the spindle on. got my G54 set wrong. All right, let's try this again. So G54 sets the offset of the work relative to the machine coordinates. Now, I should be using tool offsets for this, whereas G54 is a work offset, but um, I had a look and I don't believe that the controller I'm using supports tool offsets, so I'm frigging it by using a work offset, which just means I need to tell it where zero is, or where the machine should think zero is, because the machine doesn't know anything. It just goes where you tell it to. And previously, um, because I'd been facing a few times, um, I'd set my zero about three millimeters in um, and of course it still thought it was there which is why it looked like it was going to take a massive cut on that first attempt so I took those three millimeters off the um, G54 offset recent it and as you saw it took a nice clean one millimeter facing cut uh, now I'm gonna have a look at doing the profile Paused it to clear the um, bird's nest. Fortunately, I think it's going to do this every time. Uh, I'm just going to try changing some. Okay, I've turned on pecking, which should allow it to break the chip. So it's going to go in a couple of millimeters, retract a fraction, go in another couple of millimeters, retract a fraction. So it's the equivalent of just stopping briefly to uh, break the chips.
Okay, I'm now going to do a finish pass. Um, so I've, this is a different program which doesn't have the pecking in. The surface finish isn't bad, but you can see the um, lines in it. So let's see how well it turns out uh, when we do this. Starting to look like a, a lathe knob now. Now I've got to do some grooving with the parting tool and then finally part it off. I don't know why this is going quite so slowly. So hopefully now I've got the offset for this tool correct. We'll soon find out. Um, and unfortunately, sorry John, I can't get G96 to work on my controller. Uh, for those of you who don't know, G96 is when the control system um, maintains a constant surface speed, which means as you plunge in with a parting tool, for instance, the spindle speeds up, uh, up to a preset maximum point, but it attempts to keep the, the surface speed the same to get a, you know, a perfect finish, basically. At some point, I might get a controller that will do it, but for today's job, it's just constant speed. Right, I think I must be not quite on centre there, uh, but that's probably a good thing that it didn't completely break off. I can tidy that up on the manual lathe. The light's a bit better over here, so you can see the dome that it's tempted to replicate. Let's compare side by side. I mean, it's partly down to my modelling of that dome that it may not be quite the same. It looks like I need a more of a, a radius on this edge. It's a bit of a, a sharp transition. As this first attempt is not perfect, I'm going to do this one um, M6 for forward reverse control. Mostly just to see how it looks. Um, I've got enough bar to make some, some better ones once I get the hang of it a bit more. Um, that finishing pass with the parting tool on that radius is not quite right, so I'm going to take another look at the model, see if I can improve that. But for now, let's punch a hole in it and screw it on. used a piece of paper to protect it in the jaws there. Not bad. Right, there we are. That's more in keeping than a random round ball. Right, as usual, that took way longer than I expected and uh, I'm not going to get to finishing this off today. So, one thing I noticed was that this knob has ended up probably about five millimeters shorter than the original one. Um, there's obviously an offset error there somewhere, probably the parting tool isn't quite set up right. Um, so once I've got my head around it all, I'll probably make another video trying a bit more um, explanation to, as to what I'm doing, because right at the moment I'm just making it up to go along. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that anyway, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.